Okay, a convex meniscus lens is made from glass. The radius of curvature of convex surface is 22.4 cm and that of a uh, concave surface is 46.2 cm. Okay, what is the focal length and where will be the image for an object 2 meter away? Okay, so first of all, find the focal length, use the lens maker equation. Uh, we need to find the focal length. Okay, this is a convex meniscus. Okay, uh, lens uh, should be a converging lens. Yeah, you should get a yeah convex meniscus actually is a converging converging lens. So by right, you should get f positive. Yeah, the value of f should be positive. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so here he gives you two radius, radius for convex and radius for concave. Okay, so uh, be careful here, we have the radius for convex. Uh, this is for convex surface, this is for concave surface, yeah? So if we look, uh, this one should be the convex surface. We look from the, the left, this one is convex surface. Then we look from the right. This is a concave surface. Okay? Uh, convex surface, the radius is 22.4. And look from the right hand side, we see this is a concave surface, uh, 46.2. Okay, 46.2 centimeter. So good, what is the focal length? So, okay, question A. Okay, so for this one, we draw diagram. Yeah, we draw that. Di put in the di ray diagram first. Put into the ray diagram first. Uh, okay. So. Okay, I like to color it. Life is full of colors. Don't you agree? Not just black and white. Okay, uh, put the principal axis. Uh, okay, must put an object. Must put an object over here. And then I must first draw the incident ray and refracted ray. So, incident ray coming. And then this is refraction uh, because it's about lens, right? It's a lens. So this is refraction, not not reflection, nah? refraction. That means the light can pass us through. The light can pass us through the lens. So refracted ray. Okay, then uh, again, okay, I want to highlight here. Uh, here is a convex surface, and here it should be concave surface. Okay, convex surface and concave surface. Uh, from Okay. So now, which one is uh, first surface? Which one is second surface? Ah, so that's why I asked you to draw the incident ray and refracted ray first. Uh, after you draw these two ray, then only we know which one is uh, first surface, which one is second surface. So the surface which is nearest to the object, the surface which is nearest to the object, and also where the incident light, it receives incident light. Uh, that one is the first surface. Okay, uh, that is the first surface. So the convex surface is the first surface because it receives the incident light and also it is nearest to the object. Okay, and then how about the concave surface? Concave surface is the surface further away from object, further away from object. So, and also the reflected ray going out, reflected ray all going out. So that is the second surface. Uh, okay, nice. So, so concave surface is the second surface. Now, okay, determine the radius. Radius one. Let's draw the radius one. Radius one is the radius of the convex surface. Radius one is the radius of convex surface. So it has a uh, radius. Okay, so the radius of the, of the first surface is uh, at the right hand side. Uh, so this is radius 1 okay radius 1 so this one should be positive or negative this radius one should be positive or negative 
uh, radius one is uh, 22.4 centimeter is it positive or negative ah remember i told you about the comparison partner uh, this is the comparison partner I want you to uh, rewrite here oh weapon uh copy put it here yep all right that's it yeah so okay let me check yeah ah uh, radius radius compare with refracted ray uh, radius compare with radius compare with refracted ray highlight highlight radius compare with refracted ray so this radius one and refracted ray they are same side uh, so same side means positive same side means the radius is positive this radius one is positive so i should put radius one as a positive value why it radius is positive because same side as refracted ray okay radius one is uh, 22.4 see that 22.4 centimeter 22.4 centimeter and then how about uh, radius 2 radius 2 is um, the radius 2 is the radius of second surface this one okay bigger sphere the bigger sphere bigger radius so radius 2 is positive or negative radius 2 radius 2 also at the right hand side uh, same side as the refracted ray which is also at the right hand side so radius 2 radius 2 also compared with refracted ray yeah uh, radius 2 also compared with refracted ray they are same side same side so when same side means positive so radius 2 is positive positive what positive uh 46.2 46.2 centimeter ah so radius 2 is positive uh, positive because uh, same side as the uh, refracted ray yeah so that's why radius is positive because same side as refracted ray okay so uh, and then use the lens maker equation lens maker equation to find the focal length so 1 over f equal to n material material of the lens divided by n of the medium minus 1 and then r1 r1 minus r2 okay uh, this one r1 minus r2 yeah not r2 minus r1 uh. it's r1 over I, r1 minus r2 r1 minus r2 okay uh. so now uh, what is the material refractive index material is the lens lah. Uh, glass lens 1.5 that's 1.5 put in 1.5 and then air medium is the air just put one lah. air uh, and then uh, minus 1 r1 is r1 is positive uh, positive 22.4 centimeter minus r2 is also positive 46.2 centimeter okay both are positive oh all right all right uh, wait, wait. centimeter yeah so both are positive so find the focal length find the focal length uh, so this become what this become 1.5 minus 1 you get uh, you get uh, 0 0.5 and then the other one 1 over 1 over 22.4 and then minus 1 over 46.4 okay what's the answer eh 
uh, it is uh, 85 point, uh, 85 over 3696 <sighs> okay so mm, multiply 0. 0.5 so I got 85 over 7392 so this is just 1 over f you need to take the reciprocal Take the reciprocal so it is a positive a positive um positive 86.965 it is 6.965 centimeter we are using centimeter right yeah so what does it mean by a positive f uh, positive m is converging f positive means it is converging lens uh, so is it, am i right prediction yeah f is positive it's converging lens yeah convex meniscus is always a converging lens f positive that's why f positive 86.965 is it correct yeah 86.96 centimeter 86.96 or 86.965 centimeter also can okay that's correct next that's a focal length all right so both of these radius is positive r1 and r2 both are positive because both of r1 and r2 same side as reflected ray same side as reflected ray we put r positive okay and then uh, question b uh, question b ask for uh, the image uh, ask for where will be the image for an object two meter away so he give you here he give you the u two meter away u so find the v very simple this one just use what means lens equation uh, one over u plus one over v equal to one over f okay so it is a uh, one over u plus one over v is one over f okay um all right good so u what is the u two meter uh, two meter away so u is two meter away meter in meter form and then v and then f what is f f f uh divide in becoming meter so you get uh f is positive because it's uh converging so divide by 100 you get 0 0.8 six nine six five uh divided by hundred isn't it divided by hundred so uh meter okay uh divided by hundred you get zero point eight six nine six five meter meter huh? okay so find your v uh, this is just one over v uh, v you need to take the reciprocal again remember and what is your final v yeah so 1 over 0 0.86965 uh, and then uh, minus uh, 1 over 2 okay so you get your v is this remember take the reciprocal 1 divide by answer so it is uh, 1.54 meter 1.54 meter okay this v you get is positive v a uh, positive v what it means by positive v for v positive means it is a real image it's a real image and also real must be inverted image Uh, real image must be inverted image yeah if you calculate uh, so v is positive uh, it's a real image yeah so uh, 1.54 meter or it is um, uh, or you can write it as a uh, positive one uh, in centimeter it is uh, 153.87 centimeter yeah 
uh, 153.87 centimeter uh, positive so okay that's correct my answer is correct yeah so uh, yeah you get a real image yeah v because v positive okay where were the image form so image is form uh, uh, 1.56 meter uh, at the right hand side of the lens uh, so where is v positive form where's the image form image is it form same side as incident ray or same side as reflected ray ah look at here image compare with reflected ray so now your image is positive your image is positive value so v positive so image should be formed over here uh, because v positive v positive means the the image must be same side as reflected ray so image must be formed um, must be formed over here uh, image must be formed over here inverted image real image must be inverted image it is formed over here uh, so this is v positive uh, v positive because it's same side as reflected ray see that v positive uh, v you got you got your calculation v positive v positive that means it must be same side as reflected ray yeah because v compare with reflected ray now you get v positive v positive means it must be same side the v and re the v and reflected ray must be same side uh, so the image must be same side as reflected ray because you get v positive uh, same side and inverted okay real image is always inverted uh, okay real image always inverted okay and my and uh, is my answer correct yeah my answer is correct for every every questions so that's all for uh this question okay i hope you understand uh any question you don't understand you just leave a message below the video okay bye